Oh, yeah. I mean, you're responsible for selling how many millions of albums at this point? Um, It's reached about 65, 70 million albums. 70 million. That's worldwide, right? Internationally, yeah. I sold 10 million records before I turned 10 years old. Who around in the 90s and early 2000s then, it's likely that you know of Aaron Carter. Some of my younger audience may not be aware, but Aaron Carter was actually Justin Bieber before there was a Justin Bieber. He was part of a mix of the biggest thing in pop music at the time and managed to sell millions of records. But the latter years were not quite so good for the child star. A rocky family relationship, past trauma, and drug problems led the young star down a rough path that ultimately ended in untimely death. But how did he get to this point? And why wasn't he able to pull himself together despite his best efforts? Well, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com, and in today's video, we'll discuss the life and legacy of Aaron Carter, how he started out, and how it all tragically came to an end. This is the dark side of the business, the Aaron Carter story. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel and get YouTube to notice us. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. Aaron Charles Carter was born on December 7th of 1987 in Tampa, Florida. And unlike some celebrities, Aaron's parents weren't famous. They actually ran a retirement home. Aaron's older brother Nick was also a singer and was part of the super popular boy band, the Backstreet Boys. Aaron himself started his career at the very young age of seven as a part of the band called Dead End in Tampa. And although he eventually left the band due to musical differences, it helped him discover his musical abilities, which led to his big break when he was just nine years old and managed to open up for his brother and the Backstreet Boys in 1997. Shortly after, he began working with Lou Pearlman, the same producer that handled bands like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. His first album, self-titled, was released on December 1st of 1997. The album achieved gold status in Norway, Spain, Denmark, Canada, and Germany, and was released in the United States on June 16th of 1998. Aaron's second album, Aaron's Party, was released in September 26th of 2000 under Jive. The album sold more than 3 million copies and was certified three times platinum. And on March of 2001, he made his acting debut, guest starring on an episode of Disney Channel series Lizzie McGuire. That same month, he and fellow teen star Samantha Mamba performed a concert at the MGM Studios live on Disney Channel, titled Aaron Carter and Samantha Mamba in Concert. At the tender age of 13, Carter recorded his third studio album titled O oh Aaron, which was released on August 7th of 2001 and featured his first ever duet recording with his brother Nick. Aaron's fourth studio album, Another Earthquake, was released on September 3rd of 2002 during the Rock, Rap, and Retro Tour. Aaron was a huge child star by this time, so much so that he managed to become close friends with Michael Jackson. He stated that they used to hang out all of the time and he even smoked weed with Mike before. On the outside looking in, it appeared that Aaron Carter was on the top of the world. He had four albums, all of which had sold great. He was a household name popping up on TV shows all over the place, and his brother Nick was a world-renowned pop star as well. But behind the scenes, not everything was all good in the Carter family. Unbeknownst to fans, the Carter family had been having issues for quite a while, resulting in Aaron's parents divorcing. It all started for Aaron, he says, when he was younger, and he claims that his sister, Leslie, who suffered from bipolar disorder, had abused him. I got you. Because, you know, you talked about abuse from yeah. some of the siblings. Yeah. Like, you talked about how your sister uh, did something to you, or? Yeah, I mean, you know what? I mean, uh, unfortunately, you know, for me, I had to really release these skeletons from my closet. Not to mention his brother, Nick had left home and when he was 18 and Aaron was like seven or eight, so they never really developed a great relationship either. Also, Aaron was embroiled in a battle with his parents 
whom he said had been ripping him off for his money. In 2003, Aaron accused his mother of taking $100,000 out of his bank account without his permission. It got so bad that Aaron said that he at one point had to resort to selling ecstasy when he was 15 and in the height of his career no less, just to keep some money in his pocket. Aaron was being jerked every way he turned. His family had their hands in his pocket. He was signed to a bum deal. Hell, his own drummer was even reportedly skimming money off the top. This all culminated one night when Aaron confronted the drummer about once becoming aware. The altercation resulted in the drummer sneaking Aaron and subsequently breaking his jaw. The injury would see Aaron taking painkillers while healing, which also led to another addiction. And in 2009, Aaron Carter joined the season nine of Dancing with the Stars. He partnered with Karina Smirnoff and ultimately finished in fifth place. But this would also mark a more destructive moment in his life. Yeah, because I went to Orlando and I started, uh, you know, using uh, really bad substances, huffing duster, hu huffing duster cans. A habit that would ultimately ravage his body. After the Dancing with the Stars season ended, Aaron Carter was settled in for a stay at a rehab facility, trying to get some help for his addictions. Three years after his Dancing with the Stars appearance, his sister Leslie, the same one that he claimed had abused him when he was a kid, and who had also tried her hand at music, was found dead. On January 31st of 2012, Leslie had complained about feeling sick after falling in the shower. She fell asleep after taking a spill and never woke up. It was speculated that the reason that she had fallen in the first place was because she was high on drugs and she ultimately died of a drug overdose. Leslie had battled her own demons with drugs and ultimately was unable to overcome it, a trend that would sadly also hold true for Aaron as well. Things never had been great between Aaron and his older brother Nick, but when Leslie died, things hit an all time low. Aaron said that Nick not only didn't help get the family together for the funeral, but he didn't even bother to show up despite having just performed the show two hours away. And by now, Aaron Carter's career had taken a downturn. He also says that his dad got him into a pretty bad deal that saw him getting ripped off for a large sum of his money. And in 2012, he appeared on an episode of Celebrity Cooking Competition, where he quickly got eliminated and continued to perform at casinos, festivals, and Ryan Cabrera shows across the country just to pull some cash in. Much like many people struggling with drug issues, Aaron would experience his ebbs and flows. In July of 2017, he was arrested for driving under the influence and possession of marijuana. And after his release from police custody, he checked into rehab yet again on sept in September. Despite his early success, Aaron had a pretty rough life. They had never had a really strong family unit, or at least, it had deteriorated very early on. And it all took a toll on the youngest family member. He talked about how he suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, stemming from his parents' divorce to the death of his dad, and then later his sister at the young age of 27. As the former child star celebrated his 30th birthday, he admitted to Us Magazine that he used to think that he would be dead by the time that he was 30. Sadly though, he wouldn't be far off. Aaron seemingly suffered from a myriad of different disorders, ranging from multiple personality disorders, schizophrenia, acute anxiety, and manic depression. The years of rough family life and trudges through the music business had taken a toll on his mind and his body. And unfortunately, the relationship between Aaron and his older brother had not improved at all. And in 2019, Nick Carter filed a restraining order against Aaron for quote unquote, threatening his wife. But to his credit, Aaron had been working hard to overcome all of his problems. He seemed to be very self-aware and he knew that he was effed up and needed help and improvement. He even went so far as to state that he was not like Orlando Brown, the subject of our last video, and that he had been working hard to clean up his act. 
He got off the more stupid habits, such as huffing paint, though it had demolished his body by then. He spoke of having to undergo countless treatments to remove all of the trace metals from his system. He went on interviews and spoke of his recent investments and business ventures, including an uh, OnlyFans. Okay. Absolutely. Do you have mostly male fans or female fans or? I actually have mostly, it's, it's, it's in between. In between? It's in between. It's mostly males. Okay. Well, All point... this on a journey to recover his finances after an early career of being taken by all of those closest to him. And in 2021, he actually had his first child with his fiance, Melanie Martin. But in tragic Aaron Carter fashion, they never wound up getting married and the volatile relationship wound up coming to a close. On top of all of this, his health was not good. He suffered a hiatal hernia, which caused him to lose a ton of weight. At 6'1", he weighed only 120 pounds, up from a low of as little as 105 pounds at one point. And then, one day on November 5th, 2022, his neighbors heard a scream coming from his house. Aaron Carter's housekeeper had found him dead in his bathtub. Though details have yet to be officially released, friends have their thoughts on how Aaron Carter died and believe that the cause of death could have been due to an accidental drug overdose, considering his checkered history with subsequent abuse. When we look back at the life of Aaron Carter, we see a very troubled young man from a very troubled family. Several of his siblings, including Nick Carter, have struggled with drug addiction. And you have to ask yourself, was it the family that caused these demons? Was it being introduced to the business so young? Or was it a combination of both? It's sad because Aaron, like many child stars, never really had a chance. He was thrusted into the business before he was 10. He was placed in bed, figuratively of course, because although allegations have been launched on a few people that he was involved with, he maintained that they never touched him but he was figuratively thrown in a bed with some of the business's slimier individuals. And all the while, his parents never seemed to have any of their kids' best interest in mind. The fact that Aaron didn't completely break down long ago and was doing as well as he was, was testament to his own resolve and determination. It's just sad that in the end, he wasn't quite able to conquer all of his demons. But what do you think? Hit us up in the comment section and let us know. Also, if you made it this far and haven't already, then don't forget to smash the like button for me. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel. And if you want to be updated every time we drop a new episode of Dark Side of the Business, then hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell. This way you will be notified whenever we drop a new episode. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time. Peace.